This is just crazy. For the first time in near four years, a public version of iOS is jailbreakable, 12.4. In the most bizarre turn of events, you can now do this without a computer on almost the newest devices, and the newest devices will eventually get support, hopefully. So from the iPhone 6 all the way up to the iPhone 10, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to jailbreak without a computer. And why do you wanna do this? Obviously for the tweaks, for the customization, just to experiment with your phone and do so much more, make it faster and change so much here on the grid. You can change the layout of your icons with an iconometer. I do have a dedicated video, I'll link down below as to why you should jailbreak where I'll get more into that, but it's still worth it, especially since it's on the signed version. So a few things you need to know, go ahead and update to 12.4 if you're not there already. Again, if you have a newer device, A12 devices like the iPad Pro 10S, 10R, 10S Max, and you're on 12.3 point something, maybe 12.3, go ahead and update to 12.4 and wait. Otherwise, all other devices down to the iPhone 6, go ahead and update to 12.4 to jailbreak today. Very simple stuff, and I'll link this down below as well, jailbreaks.fun. Just go ahead and grab Uncover from here, select Get, and download it on your iPhone. It's so easy, like it literally takes a minute to jailbreak your iPhone. It's crazy that this is possible. So the backstory here is that Apple patched this exploit in iOS 13. Their beta team on 12.4 missed it. They didn't add it to the update, but it was patched in 12.3. Just the most bizarre turn of events to get here. Uh, in settings, go ahead and go to general, device management, and sign the jailbreak here. And there is a method on the computer to do this. I'll show you in a second here. Okay, you're in the app. Now I would recommend go ahead and clearing out all apps. Restart your iPhone before proceeding with this jailbreak. And while that's booting up, just wanted to mention, jailbreaking is not illegal. It will not void your warranty. You can always go back to a stock state. It's definitely a lot more stable nowadays than before. There's a lot of bad connotations with jailbreaking that just isn't really valid in 2019. I'd recommend you watch the video on why to do this, but it's 100% it's worth it. I have two devices, one on a jailbroken setup, and one on a stock one, and it's nice. Like this one is genuinely faster than my iOS 12 device. I love the, the tweaks you can get. Now I'll be updating my iPad from 12.1.2 to 12.4 just to wait and see what happens. It's very likely that the A12 devices will get support for the jailbreak here fairly soon. So let's wait and see on that. Otherwise my iPhone has restarted. Jump into uncover and go ahead and jailbreak. Rebooted, once again, jump in and select jailbreak. So every time you restart your iPhone, you'll have to go in here to resume the jailbroken state, but it's quite nice that modern jailbreaks have an off switch where you can go back to completely stock. And then if you wanna jailbreak, get into that world, you can definitely do that. I'd say one of the biggest and most compelling reasons for most to keep jailbreaking is free tethering using the tether me tweak. And then of course, just the pure creativity. I love seeing what the jailbreak developers come up with. It's always fun to see them innovate and then Apple slowly add those features to iOS. Now it may take a few tries. You'll need to rerun it, no problem. It may take a considerable amount of time for some people, but some people get lucky on the first try. You never know. It's just the nature of these modern exploits. And without a doubt, iOS 12.4.1 or something similar will be coming out here very soon to patch this. So I jump on it as soon as possible. I'll leave a guide down below for how to update to 12.4 or downgrade from iOS 13 if you wanna try it out. Anyways, you'll have Cydia now, and here it is, you're done. Cydia, and from here, it's just a matter of getting to the tweaks, seeing what you like, experimenting, always a good time. I'll have some links for that down below. And now I just wanna show you quickly on the computer. Very simple process on the computer as well. I'll link this to download the IPA file, Cydia Impactor over here, and go ahead and run Cydia Impactor with your device trusted by the computer. You'll just drag in the Undecimus IPA file, log in with your Apple ID, and the process will take off from there. So you should be jailbroken here in a minute. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna bother. And there it is. You're now jailbroken on iOS 12.4. Just wanna say thank you to the developer. Absolutely mental that this is even possible. Legend. All right, enjoy the jailbreak, guys. I'll have more for tweaks soon. Peace.